I'm working with a group of uh, people who are interested in playwriting, which is very conventional Anglo-Saxon demarcation of work. I'm not an actor-director, I'm not an actor-writer or a director-writer, I just write plays. And I'm interested in spending a week working with people from throughout Europe, fundamentally, who are looking at the mechanics of playwriting. The analogy I've developed this week is I'm like a DJ of conversation. I disc jockey their conversation, really. I decide when to play a fast one and when to play a slow song, when to play a kind of song that everybody can dance around to or one that they can all, you know, get fucked up to. We read plays together, we deconstruct plays. I'm going to read some scenes that I've written and uh, give them some writing exercises. We talk a lot, we write a lot, we read a lot. I think when a playwright reads a play, what's fundamental and important is that we read them as, not as uh, uh, lovers or academics, but as thieves. In order to really steal from a play, we need to understand completely what decisions have gone into making the play in the first place so that we can pilfer from them. Uh, so in that sense, I'm deconstructing them. I'm just looking as closely as I can at the decisions that the writers have made in the plays that they've written. I like to think of myself as post-post-dramatic. <laughs> going back to being a storyteller. I think we need stories again. I think in a time of poverty, we need our storytellers to do their work properly. I think it's only through lightness and fun and anarchy that we can really investigate the darkest areas of human existence. So we investigate horror with lightness and play.